So I decided to do things a little bit different today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take you along with me and let you see how I spend my day. And so now that I'm dressed, let's go ahead and get started. Well, the first thing I try to do when I get up in the morning is make up my bed because I feel like if I've made up my bed, then, you know, I've got a good start to the day and don't always get it done, but most days I do get it done. I knew I was gonna have a super busy day today, so I went ahead and answered a couple emails, did a couple of things that I needed to do for work before I got started with my day. I checked the things that I needed to get done, and once I did all that, then I started on the kitchen and getting the kitchen cleaned. I had already eaten my breakfast, which I eat a, um, well, I drank a, meal replacement shake in the mornings because I don't really like breakfast so that's my way of you know getting started with my day with food but anyway I go ahead and clean the kitchen and once that's done then I will get started with my errands. I love Mrs. Meyer's peppermint uh, products during the holidays, and this is the all-purpose cleaner, and I love it so much. It smells so good. All right, so I have a lot of things to do today, and I have them in my happy planner because I will forget them and then I'll get out there and I will not know what I'm supposed to be doing and then I'll get home and remember everything. So I have everything written down that I need to do. So let's go ahead and you can come along with me. All right, my first stop, Costco. Honestly, if I had a dollar for every time I've been here this season, I would be pretty rich. This is actually a good deal for all your organizing needs. $28. This labeler, and it comes with uh, additional cartridges. It's a pretty good deal. 
their gift sets have basically been reduced to like two sections and they really don't have that much. This is kind of the alcohol gift sets and that is pretty much all they have left. All right, I think this is my last stop before I have to go home. I just have to go get a nail fixed. Let me show you. Mm, right there. Thank you. Anyway, I got my nails done on Friday. And by Saturday, that one was my stop, so I have to go get it done. So I'm gonna go in Walmart and then I'm gonna go home. Okay, so I finished running my errands. I went to Costco and to Walmart. And those were really the only two pressing places I needed to actually go today. But since um, my husband is going to a basketball game tonight, and I don't know if my son is going yet, but there's stuff in the fridge he can eat for dinner. So I am on my own for dinner, and I decided to make my own little charcuterie board. And I wanted to show you um, some of the things that I got for it. Now, obviously this is a lot and I, uh, you know, won't eat it all, but these are just some of the things. So for my crackers, I didn't get any like bread or anything. I just figured I'd use crackers. So I got Ritz crackers and wheat thins. I love these tomato basil wheat thins. They, they are so good. So I have those two things. Um, for my fruit, I have some Louisiana strawberries, best strawberries out there, some red seedless grapes, some blackberries, and an apple, Granny Smith apple. And I have a little thing of caramel, like a little packet of caramel that I'm, I need to look for, but I can't find it, but I'll look for it in a minute. And then for my meats, I have Summer sausage, I love summer sausage. And then, hold on. I found this trio of meat and I'm not really sure how to say two of them. One is pepper salami. Um, not gonna try to pronounce the second one, but the, th the third one is hot, I'll just let you read it, hot calabrese. I don't know, but it looked pretty good. This one looks like pastrami. I probably won't use it because I don't really like pastrami. So I probably won't eat that. And then for the cheeses, cheese is my favorite. Well, not really, but I love cheese. So I got some port wine cheese. If you've never had port wine cheese, it's really good. And it's really good with wheat thins. So I got that. I got some Gouda. I got these little things, it says Wee Brie, and it is little wedges. So I'll probably just use one of those wedges. Then I started thinking about cream cheese with pepper jelly on it. So I, I'll just do a little bit of it and put a little bit of pepper jelly on it. So, And then um, I'll have my little dessert on my board, which are these Oh, these are so good. Cream cheese frosted snickerdoodle cookies. And I got these from Walmart. So, I can't wait to dig into that. And I have a party mix, which is right there. I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be posting a video of some Christmas snacks and the Chex Mix, the party mix is one of those things. So I may put some of that on there. Um, but anyway, that is what I got for my dinner for my charcuterie board. I need to fold some clothes. I need to um, wrap some presents. So yeah, those are a couple other things that I have to do today as far as errands go. So, I thought it would be really cute once we moved into our house 
to put my liquid laundry detergent and liquid fabric softener into the glass containers with the little spout at the bottom. But, you know, I just don't know if it's worth the hassle of making sure nothing drips and cleaning the scoops and all that. Let me know in the comments below, what do you do? Do you transfer your stuff into something else or do you just leave it in the containers that they come in? Okay, before it gets too dark, hold on, i am got to open my screen, but before it gets too dark, I want to show you how loud, so our house is, um, it backs up to a preservation area, and so it's the, it's like Jumanji back there. But this time of year and later in the year, the frogs, the rain frogs are so loud. I want you to hear this. Can you hear that? So here is behind our house. Sometimes it gets so loud you can hardly hear each other talk. It's crazy. All right, I'm just gonna wrap a few little presents. I try to not wrap all of my presents at one time. And I've just done this since my boys were little. I would wrap, you know, one or two a night and not every single night, but here and there. And they would wake up in the morning and they would have a present waiting to be put under the tree and then they would get it and they would shake it and they would put it under the tree themselves. So it's kind of always been a tradition. My youngest son is 22 and I still do it. Let me know in the comments below, do you do bows and stuff on your presents or do you just wrap it with paper and that's it. I have always just wrapped it and not worried about bows, but lately I've been, I don't know, trying to make it look a little cuter and my husband keeps telling me, Melissa, you don't have to do that. You don't, you know, I appreciate your effort, but you don't have to, but I don't know. I just feel like they just look so pretty when you go the extra step of putting bows on it. So anyway, let me know in the comments below if you use bows or not. You'll see me keep looking to the side and I was actually watching a movie on TV. It was Bad Mom's Christmas. Have you ever seen that movie? Let me know. But anyway, now granted this was the TV version, so the bad words, most of the bad words were cut out, but it was actually a pretty good movie. I was pleasantly surprised. Ooh, I have another question. Do you use all the same wrapping paper? Do you use one type of wrapping paper for each person? 
So each person has their own, you know, wrapping paper, or do you just kind of mix it up? I used to try to like, you know, my oldest son, he would have one paper, my youngest son, he would have another, but I just decided, you know what, let's mix it up that way. You know, when they have it all stacked up, it looks real cute and festive. And so anyway, let me know down in the comments um, what you do. Do you use all one color of paper, like all one color scheme, or do you mix it up? it is time for dinner so I go ahead and get the board set up put out all my crackers and my cheeses and I will say um, that after all is said and done the Ritz crackers are probably not a good idea they fall apart way too easily so next time I do it I probably won't use Ritz crackers but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and get my dinner ready. What types of cheeses do you like? I, I've just come to the conclusion that I just like the soft cheeses. So that's why I don't have any like Parmesan or Gruyere. I actually ate some Gruyere the other day and I uh, just didn't, I just didn't like it. It just tasted, I don't know, old or stale or something. I don't know. So I think my preference is, you know, the soft to the medium soft, like the cheddars and the Gouda. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what your favorite types of cheeses are. Hey, I am so thankful for you stopping by my channel and if you're new to my channel I would love it if you would consider subscribing I try to do a variety of stuff um, on my channel just my everyday life so if you like that kind of thing I would love it if you would become a part of my YouTube family and don't forget to click the bell button and please give this video a like Honestly, I prefer this kind of stuff for dinner than a than a big meal. So yeah, I'm excited to do this. Mm. Port wine cheese, really good. You need to try it. Okay, here is my dinner. Got my crackers. Got a couple different meats. Well, actually three different meats, my cheeses, I've got some fruit, and I've got my little sweets right there. So, yeah, my first time to ever do one of these, so there it is. All right, guys, thanks so much for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.